think we got off on a little bit of a bad footing there, eh? I think what we need to do is just start afresh. So I'm gonna be the gentleman in this relationship and I'm gonna chuck in a free box of lube because she likes to run wet. Whoa, whoa, slow the roll for a minute. Public safety announcement, while the rifle's hot, I'm gonna pull my pistol out, nothing personal. Knock yourself out, Spark. Okay, just try not to hit any of the metal work because I don't want to get any of those bling burns on my new suit. Sorry, what was that? This is from several. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I for one think Vern's merchandise is a real gas. My guess is you're whatever you're paid to be, pal. Welcome to Kermit Uncut. We've spoken here on the blog before about the subject of filmmakers talking about their work and how much you should trust the work and trust the filmmaker. And it raises an interesting question about whether or not you actually need to hear a filmmaker's views on their work or whether the work should stand for itself. Now, new film opening this week in UK cinema's Free Fire, which is directed by Ben Wheatley, who's coming on the Radio 5 live show I do with Simon Mayo on Friday. So listening to that, it's going to be a live interview. The really interesting thing about Ben Wheatley is this. Ben Wheatley works with Amy Jump, who's his kind of partner in crime throughout his movie making career and the two are very much working together as a unit of the writing and the editing Wheatley directs. Now Ben Wheatley talks a lot about his films. He does on stages, he does Q&As, he's on Twitter, he's on the internet and he reads reviews. He once said that one of the problems with the internet is it's almost like you can hear the whole audience talking all the time and he really kind of engages with the audience. Amy Jump on the other hand doesn't do any of that. She doesn't talk to the press, she doesn't do on stages. I think there are almost no photographs of her on the internet. She is very, very private because she says, I believe she says this because she said it to Ben Wheatley, she's never said it to me because I'm a journalist, that as far as she's concerned, the work should stand for itself. All you should judge is the work itself. So in the case of Ben Wheatley and Amy Jump, you have almost the perfect combination. On the one hand, somebody who's a filmmaker who doesn't believe in talking about the work, doesn't believe in getting out there and selling it, doesn't believe in doing any of that kind of you know, publicity process, just believes in the work. And on the other hand, you have Ben Wheatley, who's incredibly engaged, incredibly connected, all the time willing to have that discussion. The interesting thing about Ben Wheatley and Amy Jump, who I have to say, whose films I really, really like, is that somehow that combination works perfectly. You have the engagement of the filmmaker, but also the distance of the filmmaker. You have the filmmaker explaining what the film's about, but also the filmmaker who won't say anything about the film. You have everything out there, but also the mystery. I wonder whether it would be possible to be a filmmaker who simply did not engage with the press. Now, Ben Wheatley has said that occasionally this has caused problems because he is so public facing, people sometimes imagine that these are Ben Wheatley films. They're not. They're Ben Wheatley and Amy Jump films. One of them speaks to the press, the other one speaks to the audience through the work. Seem like a nice girl. We can't all be nice girls. 